Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ah, uh, this is Commerce here with Shego and I got a new haircut. I hope you guys like it. Like I'm trying out a new look. I'm try I don't know if this look out actually actually fits me. So you guys should write that in com comment section below whether I should continue or I should grow my hair back. I feel like I should grow it back, but let me know in the comment section should be below. So today I have a new topic for you guys. Uh normally I always want to avoid conversations around sex or relationship but today i feel like we actually need to address certain things certain things are going on in our society or in our community or in our family actually let's start from a family that we go into the school or society that we actually need to address so if you are new to this channel this is conversation with shagun we just start a conversation and we're not trying to be wrong or right i'm not trying to be wrong or right i'm just starting a conversation and it is perfect okay if you disagree or agree so you tell me down in the comment section below what your idea or what you actually agree, whether you agree with me or you don't so today the topic i'll be talking uh, talking on is censorship on sex education and sex talk in nigeria like i mean uh i'm in nigeria and so basically this is i I have to talk about what I know. And in Nigeria, we don't have, we don't usually talk about sex education or sex talk. So, before you go, uh, before we start the conversation, how have you guys been? Like, I miss you guys so much. Like, how have you guys been? How have you been in this coffee, in this old answers practice and everything? Let me guys, you guys should tell me what you guys have been doing to actually like in the mood or enjoy yourself. Also, keep a very healthy mental space. So, without further ado, let's get into the topic, censorship. So, before we get started, what is censorship? Like, I went on Google and I actually browsed what censorship is. But I don't want to guys, I want to give you like uh, a standard definition there. I'll give you what is my definition of what censorship is. So, I checked and it says censorship is suppression of speech public communication or other information on the basis that such material is considered objectionable, harmful, sensitive and inconvenient. But guess what? Sex is sensitive and inconvenient. Yeah, sex is sensitive and inconvenient. And we have to talk about it, but we have hard time. We usually have hard time talking about such things. We'll be like, oh, it's too young, we should not talk about it. Oh, it's too young, you should not know about this. Oh, it's too young, you don't know about this, but guess what? People, young people now are doing it, and we have to talk about it. So, uh, I will start with we learn basically from three through three major ways. We learn from family first, our own, what the family teacher, what your dad or your mom teach you. Uh, you then, uh, the second one is school. You go to school to gather information, they teach you both formal and informal. Most times, they don't teach you the most informal stuff. And third one is society. We have the social media, we have the environment, we have your friends, we have uh, basically anything outside these other two major ones I've mentioned. That's the society for you. So, as such, in Nigeria, one thing I've noticed is parents usually find it hard to actually talk about sex with their kids. Like, if any of you that are watching this video right now, that are staying in Nigeria can actually boldly say my mom actually sat me down, my dad actually sat me down and gave me a sex talk or what sex is about or what if I have any issue about sex maybe um, uh, there's about menstruation or things basically that involve or that revolve around sex you can boldly say yes my mom or my dad actually talked about sex with me please I want to know like I actually want to know because and when they talk about it, when they are talking about the sex, when your parents are talking about sex education with you, please tell me if they actually came out blunt and they just told you everything or they just try to use an example of one thing or the other. So before I start the topic, I want to, uh, like, I read this, uh, I read uh, Tiffany Adish book, which is Black Unicorn, the one she wrote. And one thing she wrote, one of the stories that actually resonated with me was, she said when she was staying in a uh, foster home, oh, there was this man in the home, I think, this older guy, this older man that, was staying, that she was staying with, one thing in the morning, so she, one thing she did was she wanted to have a big breast or something. She, yes, she wanted to have a big breast, and the old man told her that 
every morning she should be coming and she will be sucking on her nipples or she'll be sucking on her breast every morning and she, her breast will become bigger. That man is a predator. That is an example of sexual abuse, sexual assault. But she didn't know, she didn't have anybody to talk to. Nobody talk, told her about this, nobody told her about that. Until later in life, she now actually found out that she was being abused sexually by this old man. Because she, the man knew that she was innocent and she, she could be easily preyed on. So the man took advantage and was sucking on her, uh, on her breast every morning for years. So now, uh, in Nigeria, one thing we find very hard is we talk about sex, talk about abuse, talk about relationship, and all these things happen. And there's no one, children cannot, children find it very hard to open up to parents actually talk about sex. What, all we want to do is sugarcoat it. We want to tell you that eh, there was a story of someone that heard that the mother told her that she will get pregnant if a guy sits beside her. But that is not true. That's not the definition of it. So her mentality was a guy should not sit around me. If I shake a guy or if I touch a guy, I will get pregnant easily. I will get pregnant. So there was a day something that happened and the guy touched or something. Then she started crying. Started saying, ah, I'm pregnant already, I'm pregnant already, I'm pregnant. Like, sister, you are not pregnant. But that is the uh, education, that, that is what the mother told her. So the mother censored the information. That's the problem. That's what we are talking about today. We always want to sugarcoat, we also want to water the effect of these things and you shouldn't because the outside world the society are as get people the nyc the copper that was sent to your village sent to the village are out to get those young girls the uh, copper uh, female i was sent to that village out to get those young boys the old man in the environment i had to get those young girls and young boys the old woman the aunties the uncles people are out there are so many predators outside they are just looking for innocent people to prey on and to manipulate and just take advantage of them because they, they believe they don't know so much they don't uh they don't know so much about sexual education they don't know what this does and it's all right for actually for them to eat or uh, uh, eat their breast or cut their bum bum or grab their uh, their dicks like a few that is all right whereas it is not it is not it is inappropriate but we find it very hard in nigeria to actually talk about this thing so when we are talking about censorship on uh, sex education and sex talks in nigeria one thing that i notice is first we in, in, in families we don't talk about sex talk we hardly talk about it and when we talk about it we always want to water it down that's one thing first what, what do i mean by water it down we say uh we say things like we use certain examples that the person won't understand and children find it very hard to actually open up to you about what is going on with them sexually because you don't give them that room you don't give them that space you've never created that space or that environment to actually talk to your uh, kids or, their, or for them to actually come to you when they have a problem or when they are developing because they always want to shame them because if you either you shame them or you do something that they feel okay if i talk about this thing with you you will not understand not knowing that you've actually gone through this stage and they will understand but if you know they won't understand because they've never actually gave me the room they've never actually opened up to me about what sex is or what sex education is and that's what's affecting us in the environment like a lot of people are being preyed on by so many people and it is not all right the thing is young people now are very curious the media is not helping matters of course, they are, they are saying certain, uh, they are discussing certain matters about sex, uh, sexual intercourse, sex education. They try to talk about it without censorship. They, all, of course, they will say things like this video contains sexual uh, adult content and stuff and stuff like that. That which is only 18 years old that should watch this, and this is, they always put it there to actually tell you the age range and stuff like that. But there are younger people, there are people of 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 that want to know about sex, that are not 18 years old, they are not meant to be watching this thing, but yet they, they watch it and they don't know what to do and they become curious and what happened is the boy next door or someone that is also curious at them that they practice out this thing with and they don't know that this thing that they are doing is not right or they don't have a slight idea of what they are doing they don't know why they are doing this thing 
but they know that they are enjoying themselves and yet we don't talk about all these things which is the problem in nigeria we don't have a, a sex education curriculum it is not in our uh, curriculum and we don't have psychologists or guidance counselors that actually talk to us on what sex is and these things actually affect a lot of us because a lot of people just what do they do they turn to the media to the music videos to porn to so many other things to a way to just uh because we are curious we are very curious and the young minds want to know but yes uh the parents are not there to actually talk about it so when do they turn to they turn to a place that they will not be judged they can do it in hiding or they can and so they do it and one thing we always do about sex education is sex education has evolved uh it has evolved more than the story of a boy and a girl did it there are so many things now that are involved in sex education that we have to talk about so many things it's no longer a boy and a girl because the world now in the 21st century there are so many relationships coming out so many things that people need to know but yet you just say no it's too young it's too this it's too that stop that nobody is too young to know about sex so one thing i always find out is that when we will talk about sex people always laugh or people always google yes it is funny to talk about yes it is sensitive to talk about but yet we need to talk about it we need to start telling our kids we need to start well i'm not a parent yet so i don't know what it feels like to actually talk to some uh, my kids or some uh, or a, a kid what sex education is or what sex or uh, sex talk to give a sex talk but please 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 this a lot of young people out there they are very curious and want to know about this and it will in your own benefit if you actually tell them what is this and what is that and what is this and what is that and you educate yourself try to know what is going on try to know new things are coming out try it don't be just uh, a lot of things are coming out now a lot of so many different things that people are learning and the way they are learning is on the media like i watched this episode in blackish where diane the girl wanted to know what sex was and the brothers and sisters just told her that she should check google and the next thing that she did was she checked sex and she clicked on the video and what came out it was porn so one thing that not happened was that her mom came in and caught her watching porn and she was shocked she was so they thought that she has been doing that for a long time but all she wanted to do was she wanted to know what this thing was about she wanted to know what sex was she wanted to know different things that they were talking about she didn't want to feel she, she didn't want to feel left out she wanted to be involved but yes nobody gave her the opportunity to, uh, nobody gave her that opportunity she didn't learn from her family she didn't learn from her father or her mother because they didn't start the topic so what did she do? She went to the, uh, the what did they tell her? Tell her to go to Google and check it out. So a lot of times there are people, people want to talk about so many things of sex talk like masturbation, uh, checking out, having sex, so many things, kissing, emotions, emotions are involved. But yet we don't have this safe space to actually talk about it with our parents, and they don't talk about it in schools. And when schools do talk about it just talk about uh, one aspect of it they just tell you don't have sex you will get pregnant well sex education is more than that we have diseases that are out now we have so many uh, things that people need to know people need to know about uh, menstruation uh, erectile dysfunction so many things that we need to talk about on sex education but yet what we do is we water it down we say no it's too young when it grows old this uh we learn about it the girl how we but that person that has seen a person kiss on tv and you cover his cover the child's eye trust me the child will go back and watch that thing when you are not there so you telling the child to go inside and go and sleep and you don't talk about that thing you don't talk about the people kissing you don't talk about the, uh, the people touching and caressing their body with the child that child will go back and watch it he will go back and you should not be surprised when he or she when you catch he or she watching that thing because you never gave the opportunity or the chance to actually talk about it that was i feel it's very important especially in nigeria because in, in nigerian families we very find it very difficult to, to talk about sex 
share with the male and the female and we when you don't talk about this thing the products become the product of the society that supports so many bad things because you become victims of the society that produces uh, sex offenders, predators, and so many things like that. Because the society will not, they will not tell you that you are too young. That is the truth. If, if society won't tell you that. If that old man will not tell you that that girl is too young, that body is too young, or uh, this and that. And the, you say things like, oh, yeah, you should pray to Jesus. If it, no, God will not come from heaven and come and talk on you. Emotions with you. God will not come from heaven and talk about hormones with you. God will not come down from heaven and talk about sex with your with your children. You should do that. Like kids need to know about sex. You guys should start talking about sex and relationship with kids as early as possible. Stop saying that ah uh, it's too young. Or when you talk about, uh, for example, now I anytime I watch a movie and a child causes they will say uh, you should put a dollar in the sweater does it mean that the, the child doesn't know what that word is or does it mean that the child will not say it when you are not there but instead of you to educate the child on that thing that he or she is saying you say you should put the money in the sweater or you try to say or you try to water it down or you try to cover up the effect or how sensitive or how harmful that thing is you say oh it's too young you shouldn't know about it oh it's too young it's too uh you, you cannot grasp it Get, guess what he or she will see that thing out, outside and they will encourage him he or she will see that in a music video he or she will see that in a movie and they will encourage that so when you don't explain certain things that pertain sex to your kids or to family uh sorry to kids they, they get the information from the society and the society will support it there are so many misinformation so many things that you should also guide the child again but yes all we want to do is uh it's too young you shouldn't know about it so we like when we, when we are when we are talking about the sex education the sex talk we start with and uh, when a girl comes uh when a girl touches you or when a guy touches you stop censoring sex stay straight with them i as the only thing you should do is we should talk level by level level by level what do i mean by level by level we tell them what's uh, what uh, this thing is or what's this thing that they're about to uh, do what it entails try to break it down for them to the amb to the smallest or to the amount in which they can actually understand to the very little um, definition of what they're about to do but don't try to use an example that doesn't actually make sense and they, they, they'll be thinking that is for example the story of the girl i gave you or uh, the mom told, telling her that uh, sex is when the boy touches you inappropriately that and you will get pregnant and the, when the guy touched her on her hand the next thing she thought she was pregnant she the mother says the truth of what sex is so she thought that was what sex was all about or that was what sex education was and the next thing she started crying and she broke down in tears and stuff like that and these things uh they are very ample when you censor all these things they are very ample because the people the uh, kids or the the kids or the teenager will find out that the exact thing that you didn't tell her out uh, it's from somebody outside somebody else will definitely talk about this thing or somebody else will tell her that what he or she is doing is good or she'll be curious with, to find out find that out from her mates and they start engaging in certain things that they are not meant to because they are still young and society is not they won't say oh it's too young they are predators outside they will prey on the innocence they are looking for that innocent person and that's the truth that's as as pathetic as that is but that's the reality that's the reality we are in now so we should start talking about sex in our homes we should start educating the kids on what sex education is so to this to this effect uh, i will not be an hypocrite so i'll be reaching out to doctors or someone that wants to talk about sex education i'll be talking about a lot about sex education a lot from all from the uh from the smallest to the biggest thing you can ever think on on sex we'll be talking about that and i will make sure i find that so i find someone who can actually uh ask 
answer a lot of our questions around patterning sex, patterning growth, patterning so many things. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I would really appreciate you. Actually, help me and help my channel out. And also, tell me in the comment section down below. Tell me in the comments. Tell us what you think about uh, sensory sex education because I feel it's a bad thing. And we should stop that. We should stop sugar putting what sex is or try to water it down because that is not good at all. So tell me in the comment section below what you think about this video. Should we, should we start uh, talking about sex in our school? Which I feel we should we should introduce sex education into the curriculum because right now a lot of uh, you hear just two students that engage in this or just three or two as I stick to the highest uh, to the senior class engage in certain things or certain that at a very young age because they don't know what they are doing but all they know that they are enjoying themselves and they, this thing that they are doing feels good but they don't know the repercussions of it so tell me in the section, uh, comment section right below what do you feel about sex talk in the family uh, why should parents open up about sex to kids how they should know what all this thing tell me in the comment that, uh, section down below your opinion on this thank you and bye see you next time